The new vegan cheesesteak option at Subway uses coconut oil cheese, which is bad for the heart. Today we're going to see if we can make a healthier version at home. Let's go. <laughs> Cowboys ready. And that cat's here. There he is, old noise smith. <laughs> First we'll make a seitan steak. Rinse and drain some chickpeas. Now weigh out 30 grams. Now get your hunky strong boyfriend to mash them for you. To the bowl add 65 grams of vital wheat gluten. Now add a quarter teaspoon of garlic, quarter teaspoon of onion powder, eighth of a teaspoon of smoked paprika, and an eighth of a teaspoon of black pepper. And give it a mix. To another bowl add 65 mils of vegetable stock, one tablespoon of tomato puree, and one tablespoon of tamari. And give it a mix. Now mix the wet ingredients with the dry ingredients and give it a quick mix with a spoon. And now get your hunky boyfriend back in the kitchen again and get him to knead it with his hands for three minutes. Bag of snakes. <laughs> now give it a little flatten out. Noisy. <laughs> You're welcome. You're good at that. <laughs> I'm good at bashing things, am I? <laughs> well, you did something. Now get it and put it in a steamer tray. And steam for 30 minutes. If you're having it in a baguette, preheat the oven now so you can finish cooking it through. We prefer whole meal baguettes, obviously for health reasons, but they can be a little harder to source. Now we're gonna chop up the steak. You wanna make it into little bits. To crisp up the outside a little bit without using oil, we're gonna put it in the air fryer for just four minutes. We prefer to not use oil because it's not very healthy for you. If you don't have an air fryer, you could just put it in the oven. I'm not sure exactly how long. Try five minutes and then try some and see if it's as crisp as you'd like it. Don't overcook it. 200 degrees. 200 degrees, yeah. Gonna chop up a quarter of a medium white onion, a quarter of a green pepper, and a quarter of a red pepper. Steam fry with a little water until the onions are translucent. Cook the baguette as per pack instructions. So it's all coming together, what's the next step? We're gonna also add in some thyme cheese, this apple wood. Oh yeah, that's kind of smoky. Yeah, made from cashews, not coconut oil. Do not eat that, have no. a cashew based cheese. Yeah, yeah. So this is quite soft, this cheese, so uh, yeah. it'd be quite good just to squeeze it out a little bit. <laughs> yeah. And then that'll go a bit muddy with the hot baguette. Mm, and the um, rest of the filling. This is gonna be a good sandwich. <laughs> yeah, <laughs> I'm drooling. <laughs> if you'd like to optimize your health, body shape, or performance with a vegan diet, then please check out my new online nutrition course. I've launched it at a low introductory price. It contains 14 videos, three cookbooks, and masses of downloadable and printable PDFs, including a complete nutrition chart for all ages and stages of life, so you can be sure that the whole family is thriving. So we've got our vegetables. Is that a mix? Okay, now we just try to cram it all in. Yeah. Unfortunately, that would have been better if it was stuck together, I think. So yeah. we're just gonna have to do our best. Yeah, I thought I had not chopped it too much, but then it fell apart at the last minute. I'm sure it'll still taste good. It's time for some ketchup and some mustard. Come here, my friend. What's the verdict? Oh, God, no, you... oh, <laughs> I've not tried the new vegan Philly cheesesteak, but I used to eat the bad version years ago. This doesn't taste too dissimilar. In fact, if anything, I'd say that this is even tastier, so it doesn't suck being vegan, guys. Now click this.